Hi, welcome back to Lego Spike Prime and Mindstorm Inventor. Now, this is the second in my series of App uh, Spike Prime App Inventor. But before I go to the basics and of uh, coding and programming for the Spike Prime or the App Inventor, I would like to, to introduce you to a application design software called Studio. Now, in Studio, you can actually put your design of the robot together by putting all the pieces, right, from the pieces and parts from Lego. Now, here I have what I have shown you on the screen now is actually the layout of Studio, right? On the left hand side, on the top left hand corner, you can actually choose your palette. Your design palette, for instance, right? If you want to use Robot Inventor parts, Spike Prime parts, or Spike Prime expansion parts, you have to import from. Go to config and go to choose a new palette and import from Lego. Right? After you have imported, right, what will you see would be the various options available for you. And under all these options, right, are the parts that are available for you to pick from. Right? Now, what I'm going to do now is just to show you some fundamentals on how to move around right um, using this uh, software to design your robot now uh, I will be just going through some features that you normally use okay now uh, I will not start from scratch what I'm going to do is I'm going to retrieve a partial work some partial work or some a design of a robot called tricky Right, Tricky is actually part of a ready, uh, ready-made um, robot uh, given to you, right? Uh, in uh, Apps Inventor, robot Apps Inventor, uh, robot Inventor. Now, uh, what is the purpose of this? Now, instead of trial and error, you can actually go to this space here and design a robot. After which, you have completed and foolproof your design. You can. From there, you can generate an instruction sheet, right? An instruction sheet to guide anyone or uh, as a user guide, use it as a user guide to construct the robot. Now, this is similar to the previous uh, LDD or the Lego Digital Designer. For those who have used Lego Digital Designer, this is the more powerful version. Right. Um, by the way, LDD has been obsoleted, so it uh, won't be supported by Lego anymore. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to close this file and I'm going to go to this little um, partial work that I have designed that I've already done. Right now, bear in mind that um, there's one important feature that you need to always use. Do now you realize that this is snap on. If you switch off snap on, the part will snap on easily as you. Now you realize it. I have not snapped it on, so it is quite difficult to snap this part into place. What I need to do is to click here and make sure it's highlighted in blue. Snap it, and it will just snap in, right? Okay, now I take it. Now I need three of this, and I also need three of this. What you need to do now is, well, there are many ways of doing it. Now I'll just show you one way, right? Um, this is also for copying purpose, ah. Huh? Let's say you want to duplicate this blue plug here. Click on this and copy, paste. Right, we'll snap in, paste, snap in into the holes at the proper whole location. Now I'm going to step into place these three parts here. Right. This is called an elbow. Right? The elbow. Snap. 
All right, and step. Right. Now I'm going to now one more part here, which is the little blue plug here. It's called the friction ridges. Right. Click on. I need two of this, so I'm going to pull it closer here. Out here. So I'm going to. No, I'm going to snap it into. Okay, let's let's copy one more piece. This right going to snap this on right and I'm going to snap this on. Snap this on snap. right now. Next, what I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight this the whole assembly. Okay, I'm like this section here this is the new assembly I need to attach it to the robot the main body I like right. okay now move this into place and snap in no done all right okay Right, so now this is uh, just an introductory. Do try out this studio, quite useful in your design of your robot. Thank you, and I hope to see you in the next session of Lego Spike Prime or Lego uh, Mindstorm Inventor. Thank you.